Hey guys, welcome back to another 12 days of Christmas video. I am here to f give you my final results of my Project Pan Roulette that I did this year. I will list all of the videos, I think I did three or four updates this year. I try to do them every two to three months and I have my finale. I am not happy with some products, but now I've learned what I can pan and what I can't pan and I'm super excited because I have another surprise for it next year. I'm gonna do something else that's different. So I'm super stoked to do it. I love to pan. I have been a panner since about 2013, my first year of doing YouTube and I did my very first panning video and I did four out of five products, which I thought was awesome for me at that time. Like, whoa, I finished four products out of five. And then I secretly kept doing it. And then I would do certain videos here and there of panning, but I would secretly do it behind the scenes to see what I could be capable of. And I am a secret project panner. I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> so you probably will see a lot of more project pan videos in the future because I just love it. It feels so good to know that you got your money's worth, that you use something up and you know what you're capable of. So then you know what to buy of and what you should not buy any more crap of. And that's what I've learned throughout this process. So, so I did 10 different products. I have officially finished five already. If you saw my previous update, you guys know which five it was. And then I had five products left. And I am here to disappoint you guys that no, I did not finish any of the five that I have here. Um, but I did make some progress in quite a few of these products. So if you want to see how I finished this year's Project Pan Roulette, just stay tuned. All right, so for the first two products, these are the two products that I completely, utterly failed on, and they're two lip products, so I know I will probably never pan another project. I never will pan another lip product because I'm just going to suck at it until I get good at it. So the first one was this Dolly Lip Gloss. As you guys can see, yeah, that was my intro. Then my first update, second update, and that's where it officially stayed. <laughs> For me personally, looking at it this way, I think that's such a good progress because I don't typically finish any lip product ever. So I think that that alone in it, and itself is just a good for me, but I didn't finish it. I was hoping to finish that product by the end of the year. Yeah, 12 months and I couldn't even finish a mini lip gloss. So I, I already know I have stopped myself from buying lip glosses. I don't buy any more lip glosses unless it's something that I really, really is very unique to my collection or I, it's something that I don't have of and I want to try, but I do not hoard lip glosses any longer. It's been so long since I purchased a lip gloss, just a fair warning because that right there is an indication that I should not buy anymore. Next up is my Nude Creme Lipstick from Milani. I have used this a few times throughout the month, but I didn't finish it. I didn't finish it. Not that it's not, I don't like the color. It's just I am the type of person that loves to change my lip products, my lip colors, and I do like two, three different colors a day. So for me to pan one color, it was very, very hard. So... I think that this is good progress again for me because I don't think I only own one other lipstick that looks like it is very well used and loved. Other than that, I, I don't have many lipsticks like that. Again, I am trying not to buy any more lipsticks. If I do purchase lipsticks, my rule is if I bring one home, one has to leave. So that has been my rule and it has been working well for me. So for now, um, I'm just gonna put this back in my collection. I do love it, so it's not like it's old or anything. I just wanted to pan it since I thought it was a neutral shade for me. Now, another fail for me. So you probably won't see another lip product in a project pan for a while until I can get a grasp of how to do it. It's so hard and I know a few people struggle with it and I'm one of them. I just suck at it. So next up was my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. Now I knew this was not going to be done by the end of the year. I faithfully and religiously used this product every time I did my makeup this whole entire year with the exception of one day. One day I use something different, but other than that, I literally, and I can promise you I use this every single time I did my makeup. I have it on today. I have learned to work with it. 
so it doesn't make my eyebrows look so harsh I, I'm able to fill in my brows and not make it look like I am Elvira with these thick brows because I already have thick brows so I'll, this is a product I should have never had it was a gift so I do want to use it up it um, has not dried up I place it upside down like this in my container where I store it so it doesn't dry out on me and it's still going perfectly fine working well this is a product I will still continue to use for me I th this was practice practically brand new when I first started using it so for me to use that much I think that's awesome I'm proud of myself with this one so I'm going to continue to use it I'm not one to be um, an eyebrow product hoarder or um, get bored easily with my brows I think I'm honestly going to miss this product when it's gone because it really does keep my brows in place and I don't really have to stress about it too much when I do my brows and if I sweat or I'm out in the rain. So I am going to miss it when it goes, but I will not repurchase it just because I personally don't need it. I have enough brows. Come on now. So this will continue next year, but I'm very happy with where I'm at with that. Next up is the Clinique Chubby Stick Shadow Tint for Eyes in Lots of Latte. This, not too bad. I kind of like made it flat on here this is a product where it didn't bring much but it was it's just very tough to use you guys have seen it in the tutorial you guys saw it's really nice and creamy when I when I actually swatch it but to use it on my lids it does tug at it and I don't like it I have taken you guys's tips and I have been using a synthetic brush like this. this is the one I've been using and I just grab it and go like this and blend it in it takes me a little bit longer to build up the color but I have been doing well as far as trying to make use out of it now that it's more of the time where I use cooler toned shadows so I have been using it I didn't finish it which was my goal I am not going to get rid of it just because I was going to get rid of it and my thoughts were I'm just going to get rid of it be done with it but oh it's just that thing where I have to finish something. I just can't leave it like that. So I'm going to finish this product. One way or another, I'm going to figure out how to use this up, whether I depot it, put in something else, um, and then use, use it with my finger. That way it'll, I don't know, like, I'll figure it out. But I'm going to use this sucker up. Let me tell you, I will use it up. So this I did not finish either, but I'm kind of happy with where it is. Now the last product was my NYX uh, Set It and Don't Fret It Matte Fat It Matte finishing powder so this is what it looks like here if you guys have not ever seen it this was practically brand new when I first pulled it out this year this is the only setting spray I used the whole year the whole year I'm not even joking with you guys the whole entire year I don't like this under my eyes I was getting desperate towards the end and I was using it under my eyes and then I stopped because I realized it doesn't look good under my eyes it makes them look creepy and old and horrible and because it does have a tint it's not translucent this is the light medium shade it didn't look right under my eyes so I stopped using it under my eyes and I just said you know what you like it on your face Alex just continue to use it on your face again this is a type of product that I don't get bored with because it's just routine it's just a powder I'm, I'm good I can finish it now this this is where I started the first update, second update, third update, and then here is where I'm at right here. So as you guys can see, I used a lot of this product. I'm very, very proud of myself for how much I used. It is very hard to use a loose product, and some people don't like it because it's messy. I don't mind. So I am actually very, very proud of myself. I'm going to continue to use this until it is done because that's just the type of person that I am. So that's where I stood on my last product. So like I said to you guys, I didn't finish any of the, my last five products, but I'm going to show you other products that I was working on behind the scenes that I can say I did finish and I'm so happy about. So, and I kind of replaced some of these for these, like saying, okay, look, I didn't finish these, but I did finish these kind of thing. Like, you know, making myself feel better. Anybody? Anybody with me? The first one was this Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. So I have like probably one more application in here left, but as you guys can see, 
I used this sucker up. I liked it. It was a really nice face product. It was nice and it didn't make my face uh, greasy. It was a nice texture. Um, it sunk in very well. Smelled very, very nice. I do like it. So I wouldn't mind having that one again. Another face one, which this was my second one finishing this year, is the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief Cream. This is really nice. I like this one a lot. And for this being my second uh, sample of it and using it, I like it. I like it for all year round. It doesn't make me oily either. I like the feel of it. It made my skin look really nice. It didn't make me break out. I finished two of these and I think I just got another sample size of it again. Or I think I found another one. So I will continue to use the next one of that. A, a loose powder I really did finish, you guys. This took me forever. It took me the whole year, too. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Clay Finishing Powder. This is a sample size of it. Yeah, I finished that sucker up. Let me tell you, this was the never-ending setting powder for under my eyes. I even took the stopper out because I only had two little holes in there. So I pulled it out um, to really get the rest of the product out. So even though I did not finish that NYX product, I did finish this one. And that's an accomplishment for me too. So finish that one up. And then the last product I did finish up, which was another hard one for me to finish, that I'm going to kind of say, you know, I, I at least finished something, is my Eve Pearl Dual Salmon Concealer. And this is one of my favorite concealers ever. And I do have a backup of it, but I have other ones that I want to use first before I use this. You guys saw this on Instagram. I literally scraped the heck out of it. It it's so good for dark circles and it's nice and emollient so it doesn't make my under eyes look horrible and old and all line up and you know like you get those lines under your eyes and things. This didn't do that. As long as you set it, it's good. And I love the fact that it came with a mirror, which I think is a little bit like, you know, fancy for a concealer. I do, my color is a light medium. They're always on hot look and that's where I purchased mine um, for half the price because this is a $50 concealer. And I got it for half the price, so I would recommend going on there if you are interested. They were just on not too long ago. Um, and I was tempted to get a backup for my backup, but I said, no, let me finish the backup first before I get another backup. But anyway, I did finish this. Love that one. Um, I also finished some Bare Minerals foundations. I posted that on my Instagram if you were interested. I think I finished three different types of Bare Mineral loose powders. So that is another accomplishment for me. Even though I didn't finish what I said I was going to finish, I did I did make dents. So I'm proud of myself. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did follow me throughout the year, let me know what your progress was. I am very proud. I am very proud of myself. Thank you guys so much for encouraging me. Most of you guys that did do this with me would show me and then you guys motivate me to continue to just keep going. Sometimes I'd be like, oh, forget it. But no, I kept it going with the exception of those lip products. Those lip products really got to me. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. If you did like it, stay tuned tomorrow for my next 12 days of Christmas video. I will catch you guys then, and don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.